Hey everybody, we're we doing great. We're gonna keep following this silver story as it is progressing, which I think we're gonna see some big stuff happening. I'm gonna go through this article real quick and then I'm gonna link it for you guys to read it and digest it, okay? So this is out of Zero Hedge and this is entitled Physical Premium to Paper Hits Record as Silver Market Tears in Two. Now this is backing up what I've been telling you guys, where it's gonna see a divergence, a massive divergence from people just trying to acquire the physical silver and then the divergence from the price of spot to how much you're gonna to have to physically play to get that silver in your hand. And that's gonna start telling a really, really big story. In the 10 years that I've followed silver, we have never seen this much press, okay? For the silver industry. It's waking up a lot of people. That's why those hashtags are helping, guys. Thank you for hashtagging silver squeeze, hashtag silver in the comments below, and please hit the likes because this gets this out to a lot of people. This is your investment, my investment. This is the difference between a healthy um, economy and a, a uh, a, a, an evil lying economy just so you know it's, it's that's the truth there's going to be some pain to go through this transition but just so you know uh, it doesn't just happen overnight so and trust me with all the uh, businesses that have been shut down forced to be shut down trust me there's way more pain coming right now and you don't have a say in it so that's the sad part so all right here we go update says the physical sh uh, the shortage of physical silver is exposing a tear in the precious metal market unlike any we've seen before now here is the gap up that I talked about in uh, trading when it opened up in the Asian markets Sunday night. Gap ups are a big deal in the silver uh, market, okay? They don't happen all the time, and when they do, they show extreme demand, right? And we see, look at that spike in demand is absolutely amazing. Huge spike in buying pressure, right? But now what's interesting here is we have a lot here. Now remember, yeah, the price goes down because some people freak out and they sell or they want to take profits and look even if you sold down here and you you were bummed if you bought any time before this you crushed it okay so uh, this could have been panic buying right here right um, and this could this is obviously panic selling but if you bought anywhere here you're doing good as a matter of fact even if you sold down here you're breaking even okay so that tells a lot right there um, it says physical price silver prices remain in extremes right here 43 bucks for a silver eagle and that looks like we're looking at Atmax, yep. Um, and a lot of this is if you can even get it, because a lot of it's already sold out. Now you're seeing numismatics and um, collector stuff, like uh, uh, sealed mint tube boxes, stuff that nobody usually wants because you're paying a high premium for nothing, in my opinion. And again, guys, none of this is a professional advice. This isn't financial advice. Um, I did kill it in the, the options market today. I haven't sold yet. I think we're going to do a little better. Um, but uh, this is going to be this is going to be a it's definitely a developing story. So it just gives you examples of different silver prices and how much they're costing. This is SD bullion. This is JAM bullion. And yeah, let's look at the difference in price. Forty three dollars. Now we're talking coin for coin. Twenty twenty American Eagles. We're looking at. Um, and I always like to, to give the price for one coin, not the lowest price, because honestly, guys, how many of you are just going to go out and buy 1,500 ounces worth of silver right now? Very few people have that much money, okay? Um, so I always like to look at the common man scenario, right? So it's 45.20, 41.40. So look at the difference in price. You can literally save 10% right now if you went to Jam Bullion. And then um, 42.96, which is my number one pick, SD Bullion. Um, now it says right here, and this chart below indicates that massive premium is unprecedented. And yes, that is true. Um, this is a chart from 2016 to 2021, and this is the VIG. This is what I'm, I've been talking about, that price divergence that's going from the paper spot price to the, um, uh, to the physical price. And if you look at all these years, this is the price over spot that you would pay for an American Silver Eagle, okay? And right you know in high times i said that you paid like six bucks over and that was when um uh you know here in 2021 actually this chart is a little bit off because i remember seeing this is probably based on the cheapest you could get it but most of the time i actually saw like prices of ten dollars over spot when silver collapsed this last spring but obviously that's still um nothing compared to what's happening right now okay so this spike is impressive okay and i'm telling you right now i do not believe this is gonna ease up tomorrow okay it's gonna get stronger and stronger because what happens is and people have made comments that 
hey, the Wall Street bet guys aren't talking about it. I'm looking at it on Reddit. Just so you know, 99% of those people on that Reddit thing, you might think they're all rock stars right now, but they did not get into GameStop and AMC at those low prices. Just so you know, they slowed in. There was a core group of people that went for it. They had a plan. They executed the plan, and then a ton of people followed in. Just so you know, I wasn't on those uh, Reddit pages until all the news broke about um, uh, GameStop last week. Then I jumped on and started reading. You know, that billionaire that I showed you the video of, he didn't. He wasn't on that stuff until last week in reading. He said he stayed up all night, and that was so. That, that actually happened. So he actually got on Reddit and started reading the Wall Street Bet pages last Thursday. So even even billionaires are, are just figuring this out, right? So just so you know, just because they're not talking about silver, what's going to happen is as these stories go out and these videos, like the one I'm doing right here, and other videos, right? And I'm telling you, it is trending everywhere right now. The Wall Street Bets crowd, just get ready. They're going to move into something. And hopefully some of those kids are smart because they bought at the top. And they're going to go, maybe I should get into something, uh, you know, early. No, I want to be one of the winners. And and I'm not joking. I'm not trying to build this up. But one of my business partners came back the other day. And he says he was at work for three days. And nobody could hold themselves together. They all were talking about the Wall Street Bets. They were all buying the stocks, the, the AMC and the... Uh, GameStop, right? And they were saying, there's room, there's room. And my buddy, he stays quiet. He watches. He likes to listen, right? And I asked him, I said, how many of them were talking about silver? He said, not one. And I said, weird, because that's the one that's freaking out the banks. That's the one that CNBC is talking about. Yeah, they're talking about GameStop and stuff, but they're trying to downplay the silver one because it's the, it's the big one. Okay, so just because you're not seeing it right now, don't worry. You also probably didn't see Lehman Brothers collapsing months beforehand when those negotiations were happening in the summer with uh, Timothy Geidner and, uh, uh, oh, what's his name? I'm totally blanking out on the current Fed president, or the Fed president that was sitting there, Hank Paulson. Um, so, and you also didn't probably know that the market was collapsing in 2006. In hindsight, you go, oh, yeah, I totally saw it coming. No, you didn't. I And the reason why I say that is because when I was selling all my homes in 2006, but it was mid-2006, I was running everywhere saying, sell your home, sell your home. And people were straight up getting pissed because you didn't see it. They didn't see it because everybody was eating cake. Everyone was drinking champagne. And just, you know, the crash started in 2019, September 17th to be exact, okay? That's when the repo window had to open because the interbank lending rate spiked to 10.5%. And that is literally the end of the world okay that was bad compared to 2001 the dot-com bust and the 2008 Lehman crisis both those spikes were six percent and six and a half percent respectively and I'm telling you right now ten and a half percent was massive and it was on the exact same day on a very special calendar that the Lehman Brothers bonds clapped anyway totally different story getting back to silver yes I get it I digress um, so it says right here uh, it's sold out. Premiums are spiking. I want you guys to look at it. I won't take any more of your time. This is big. You are following a story, and that's why I get it. There's a lot of people going, why aren't you talking about Digibyte? Why aren't you talking about Theta? Look, guys, right now, I'm telling you something before it happens. Watch what happens in the next week or two. Okay, it doesn't mean FOMO in. Be very conscious because if this gets bigger and it takes the market down and we see a sell-off, which I am, I have been planning for. Me and my business partners have been planning for this, okay? Um, there is going to be a sharp drop in the uh, in all markets, including crypto. I'm telling you, I think there will be a divergence eventually. But I'm telling you, especially this run-up in 2020, uh, the, the crypto run-up, this happened. This is not retail investors. This is um, institutional investors that have been moving in and bringing that price up and bringing a lot of retail investors in now that they've got the balls because all of a sudden, you know, this guy, this billionaire is doing it, and this billionaire is doing it, which in all reality, they've owned it since 2014, personally, but it took them that long to talk their boards of directors into buying it, right? Um, so anyway, I hope you guys got something in this video. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for the sub new subscribers. And you guys have really been helping me out with those hashtags and the likes. You guys are awesome. We'll talk to you later.